warning, this is going to be a long one, but I think it's going to be worth it once we get to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. Well, good morning, campers. Well, non-campers. I didn't stay at that super, super stay right in front of me. I'm, I was staying at the uh, Days Inn right beside it. Uh, certainly not the nicest or cleanest hotel I've ever stayed in, motel. Okay, we're fogging up a little bit this morning. Uh, just after 9.30 in the morning. I could have been on the road a little bit earlier, I am sure. Uh, had a shower, cleaned up stuff. Caught up a little bit on internet thingies. And it's 13, well, it's 14 degrees. Uh, still haven't got the clock set right on the dashboard. Got to take time to do that at some point today. Uh, I'm going to try to ride for a blur 45 minutes, half an hour, and then uh, grab uh, something to eat. He's carrying more than me. I hope it's strapped down well. After about 45 minutes, I did stop for breakfast. This is my first Cracker Barrel ever. It couldn't have been that memorable. I didn't make any notes of what I had, and I can't remember it. But I guess it hit the spot, and there certainly was coffee. If you get off the interstate to fill your belly, you'd better fill your tank too. Yeah, I'm at that age. Never pass up a restroom or a gas station. on the interstate. This is one of those days where my Google Maps and my actual tracking by the spot tracker don't match. Now, there was a bit more uh, construction happening on the Blue Ridge. And also, I was running out of time. But right now, we're just making time. I just want to get over to Asheville and get on to the start of the Blue Ridge. Ten thirty nine here in just got back into North Carolina and I'm running on multiple time zones. Eleven forty. 
Okay. Well, let's get on the parkway by one, please. Good day. It's gotta be a little chilly on you out here right now, is it? No. Really? I got enough layers on now. I'm heading north. Well, it's, so it might get a little cooler on you then, probably. I, it's gonna get a lot cooler. <laughs> We're heading to Tybee Island that way, so I'm, we're hoping it warms up, you know, for us. <laughs> no, I'm heading back home to Newfoundland. Where at? Newfoundland, Canada. So, I got about, how will it take you? Uh, I got about 3,000 miles to go. Wow. I'll be, I'll be there next weekend. So this is a solar, that's a little camper, isn't it? It's a fold-out tent camper. One person? Yep, yeah, it fit two. Okay. Solar yeah. Next weekend. Yeah. Wow. This today's Monday. I should be in Halifax Sunday. That's where you live at? No, I live in Newfoundland, so I've got a ferry ride. I got a ferry ride and the next week the, the, well, I'll be going to Newfoundland. Wow. Yeah. And you're recording all of it. Pretty well. If you're awesome. if you're ever bored, old guy on a bike. Old guy on the bike. Yeah, that's my YouTube channel. Hey, I'll check it out then. All right. Old guy on the bike. You be safe, my Thank you. Yep. The mini make factor. So many people will stop you and want to talk. We're going to stick to the interstate all the way through to Asheville. It's not too bad. There is a fair bit of scenery, although there are a lot of trucks backed up on the hills. That's okay. The ST can haul the Mini Mate past them with no problem at all. Okay, there's Mr. Motorcycle. <laughs> I have put on uh, 1,400, 1,300, almost 1,400 kilometers since Thursday.
I do stop at the visitor's center just to check and yes there are a couple of sections that are closed way up the other end of the Blue Ridge. I take advantage of the washrooms. It's warmed up enough that I can get rid of a layer of clothing as well. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer, but it's muggy. It feels damp. It's a good time to change camera batteries as well. All, th all three of my main cameras take the same battery and they last about 90 minutes, which isn't bad. I've sometimes had them go as long as two hours, but every hour and a half, that's a good time to pull over and, and change them. Go right ahead. I was smiling. Okay, so we are now officially on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I don't know how long we will... I don't know how long we're going to stay on the parkway because it's only a 35 mile per hour uh, speed limit. And uh, I've got 300 kilometers to go to get to Meadows of Dan. So we might just spend, you know, we'll take an hour to meander on this thing. There are parts of it that are closed down, part of it for work, part of it. For And part of it is for uh, possible storm damage. Well, speed limit's 45 here. And 45 is about 70. The Blue Ridge Parkway, like the Cherahala, is just a joy to ride. Especially at this time of the year when there isn't a lot of traffic. Now it's probably going to pick up in a week or so as the trees really start to turn color. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy the ride.
I think I need to change the trailer cam to the other side. certainly riding above the cloud level. Visitor center. I guess this cloud was a little thicker than I thought. But it did have a bit of a magical feel to it, right up in the fog or the cloud.
right, always fun to not follow another bike. Guy from Minneapolis, I think I said. And he's on a Guzzi, California. I could stop every five minutes, every overlook, but uh, now we've got uh, places we need to be today. Two forty-five, and I think I've got about three hours of riding to do once I get down into the valley. Clouds might have obscured some of my views, but when I get one, the wow factor is there. What a fine way to spend a couple of hours. I enjoyed this much more than, than riding the dragon. It also lasts a heck of a lot longer. I only did about a quarter of the Blue Ridge Parkway today. I've definitely got to come back and plan it so I can do the whole thing. Great ride. But right now I need to get some fast kilometers under my belt. I'm planning to stay at Willville Motorcycle Campground tonight. Got one last gas stop to do.
besides the nights getting colder, the other thing with riding and camping this late into the season is that the days are a heck of a lot shorter than they were in June and July. It doesn't take long before it starts really getting dark. And it's pretty well night by the time I find Willville Motorcycle Campground. Even though it's going to mean setting the Mini Mate up in the dark, which I've done far too many times, Today was a great day. The ride was good. Certainly, I enjoyed the Blue Ridge very much. I run into Tor from the ST Owners Group, who's camping here tonight as well. There's only about half a dozen campers. But once I get set up, join everyone around the fire have a bit of a chat it's going to be night 81 sleeping in the mini mate for that trip not bad I don't know it right now but it will be the last camping night of the journey but I'm getting ahead of myself We'll see you tomorrow for Day 95. Thanks for coming along.